Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, we are doing the masculine and feminine, divine masculine spirit. Please show me the divine masculine. What energies are the divine masculine in at this time? All right, divine masculine for this week. Where are they at with coming into union with the divine feminine? The spirit, please show me the divine masculine. What energies are they in right now to come into union with the divine feminine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got way too many cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take the one that stayed on my desk. So here we go. The thinking woman, okay? So the masculine's got the thinking woman. So the masculines are thinking about this woman. It uh, is a 47, which uh, comes out to a 11. 11 is all about the ascended masters. Spirit, please show me the divine feminine. What messages? Okay, here's the divine feminine strategy. Okay, so the divine feminines, they got the 21, which is a number three, and blossoming abundance between the two of them, which is also a number three, which is also connected to the empress. So the feminines and uh, the masculines know that the feminines are a. Um, are abundant. They know that there's a lot of abundance between the two of them. He's thinking about the divine feminine at this time. Let's go ahead and read the thinking woman for number 47. Number 47. Here we go. It says, this card shows a woman holding a book standing before a staircase ready to lead you to a higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or, like the thinking man, the card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. So I feel like this divine masculine and seeing the divine feminine is somebody who is some type of a healer, some type of um some uh, some type of a woman who brings clarity and love to you know her community, her friends, her family. She's generous. She's kind. She's loving. And the masculine is definitely seeing that with the divine feminine. The divine feminines, you're working on strategy, making a plan. This card shows a pen, and if you notice, look at this. She's got the book, and he's also got the book. See how she's got that in her hand? And here it is, okay? So it says, this card shows a pen, journal, compass, and key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum to optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Excuse me. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and having some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control, add thought to action, and set your sights on the road ahead. So the Divine Feminine, it would be really good for you at this time because we are coming into these eclipses to sit down and write out what it is that you're wanting to manifest, what it is that you're wanting to let go of, you know, any one of those things so that you guys are able to come into union with your Divine Masculine. Okay, and then what is standing between the two of them is blossoming abundance, increasing wealth and value. This card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the tree above. This card signals a new increase in wealth, possibility, and in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like gardener like a gardener works in the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold. This card indicates the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. So I see blossoming abundance between the divine masculine and feminine, whether that's, you know, obviously if the two of you guys are not coming together at this time, um, you know, abundance, I feel like the masculine sees the feminine as abundant and I see, but I feel like it's a, it's a mutual reception. Okay. And I feel like the two of you guys 
I feel like are strategizing together, whether you know it or not, energetically, knowing that the two of you guys, when you do come together, you guys are going to be extremely abundant, okay? So the masculine is definitely thinking about bringing the feminine in, um, recognizing that the two of them are going to work better together than they do apart. Actually, not a bad way to start this reading. I am now that we are in Gemini. Oh my God, you guys, look, the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So we're getting ready to come into union. I am watching a lot of people coming into union at this time. Um, you know, we're coming out of being single. Look at this, you guys, going from being single into a relationship. So I am seeing, you know, with this Gemini season, it is about the lovers. If you think about, you know, uh, them coming together, it's, you know, this is a very divinely blessed union. And I feel like the masculine is about ready to offer something very tangible. And we do see the garden back here as well. Something that is going to be um, that, you know, it's a seed and that you can watch it grow. Spirit, please show me the divine masculine and feminine. Where are they at with coming into union? Okay, we have one card out. All right, two of pentacles, three of pentacles. So working together for the same common goal, juggling, you know, trying to figure out what they want to do. The hermit in reverse, coming out of being single. The hermit has been single for a very long time, four of wands. So for some of you, you're building a home. Ten of pentacles, look at that. There's the garden right there, you guys. So this is about, you know, things that are going to be built up a lot of, over time. The ace of pentacles turns into the ten of pentacles. The ten of pentacles breaks back down into the ace. So this is about marriage, commitment, and I feel like that's what they're both really thinking about at this time. Here is the page of cups, you know, a, a love offer coming in in the near future, wanting to offer up their emotions. Six of wands, which is victory and success, wanting public recognition, maybe to come out in public. Queen of pentacles, looks here to me like that thinking woman, strategy, blossoming abundance. I like when I do a love reading, I want to see the pentacles in the reading because pentacles is actually going to take you like through, it's going to last the test of time, right? You got the cups, which is emotions. That's great and all, but we want something that's going to be much more tangible. Here it is. You're both hoping for commitment. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like this is marriage and commitment. And here is your divine masculine, the emperor showing up at the bottom of the deck, the fool getting ready to take a leap of faith. I could literally stop the reading right here. I've got goosebumps, you guys. So I, I'm going to tell you right now, the masculines, I feel are kind of, I feel like the feminines and the masculines, you know, they're kind of like juggling a lot of different things, but I feel like the masculine here, oh my God, right underneath the fool is the empress. The empress is the divine counterpart to the emperor. So the feminines, like I said, you already know your value, you know your worth, and I feel like with the the empress here is the the minor arcana to the empress is the queen of pentacles. Um, you know, somebody who's grounded, stable. I feel like the masculine is definitely seeing you know the feminine working on her abundance. Uh, he sees that the feminine is very grounded. Um, he sees how. You know, people in the community are looking up to her and he's wanting to take a leap of faith. I think that they both do, you know, and I feel like, you know, they're both packing light at this time. You see how he's got the pack right here and he's he's packing light. So I feel like when I, I talk about that, it's like, you know, we're not bringing in all our traumas from the past. We're not bringing in, you know, hurts, pains, you know. <clears throat> any of that kind of stuff, exes, it's like the two of them have a very clean slate and they're wanting something that is going to last the test of time. That's what the 10 of pentacles is things that have been built up over time and they want to share it with one another. And I feel like, you know, the, 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 challenge is the three of pentacles. So if maybe for some of you, maybe this is a third party that, you know, is still kind of lingering in the background. I do feel like that is getting ready to fall away. So with the um, hermit in the reverse, this is coming out of being single. You guys, the hermit in the upright is somebody who has been single for a very long time. We could be dealing with a Virgo here an Aries, um, a Taurus, uh, the fool can be, um, Sorry, guys. And also an Aries or an Aquarius does not have to be. And then we have Libra here as well with Aries and uh, Taurus. So it could be your sun, your moon, your rising, any one of those signs. With that said, you guys, I do feel like there's going to be some type of an emotional offer that is brought um, to you. And it's, an, um, it's something that this person is wanting to share their love. They're wanting to share their emotions with you. Maybe they could be inviting you to go for a walk on the beach. I am seeing that here or a walk maybe in the garden. 
Okay. There could be a garden, um, or, you know, it's just some type of a journey. The four of wands in the past is, you know, um, happiness, success. This is marriage commitment. You guys, I'm telling you right now, there is marriage and commitment here on the table. When I've got the four of wands, the 10 of pentacles and the hierophant, you are both looking at marriage. You know, if anybody's been listening to me for a very long time, you hear me talk about my husband. I'm not talking about a boyfriend. I'm not talking about a lover. I'm talking about my husband. I'm being very purposeful with the universe and what it is that I am asking for. So if there has been any type of, um, uh, any type of, just anything standing in the way, I feel like those are getting ready to be lifted. And I feel like, you know, union is literally right around the corner. You ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been working really hard for this. You're wanting something that is very stable, very grounded. And the emperor is just that this is the divine masculine. You know, this is not a page, right? The page is like somebody who just comes in and goes, hi, how are you? This is a masculine who knows what he wants and he is ready to take a leap of faith towards his divine feminine. Wow, you guys. I mean, there's really nothing more to say about this. I feel like the masculine is definitely wanting, and so is the feminine. She wants somebody who wants to scream from the rooftops how much he loves her, okay? So I do feel like both of them are very financially stable. I feel like both of them have their career in order right now. And I do feel like, um, I feel like this is ready to come like into play. I mean, there, there's no other way of reading this. It's a very simple reading. Uh, the keys here at the bottom is unlocking this relationship and it's unlocking us from, uh, for some of you, it's a new home. This person's going to ask you to move into a home with them. So I, you guys, honestly, I feel like you're going to get the white picket fence. If you're wanting children, I definitely see that as well. I see where for some of you, pets are going to be a huge importance because I'm seeing the dog here. I'm seeing the dogs here. I'm seeing the bunny rabbit here. Um, a lot of animals. I see a horse here. And then I'm seeing the rams on both sides, okay? of his um, throne. So lots to do. Oh, and then there's also a fish here. So I am seeing where, you know, I, I see the two of you guys coming into union and I do see where animals are involved, um, you know, nurturing and loving and kindness. Uh, I feel a lot of love and I do see stability coming in. You guys, congratulations. Uh, this is a really, really, really exciting reading to bring to you guys. There's nothing more to say on any of that. This, I feel like this is going to be a very short reading today, you guys. So with that said, we do have, get this, guys, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel like the masculine is here to make that, you know, emotional gesture, uh, offering up some type of stability. If the masculine or the feminine have been juggling, I feel like that is about ready to end because you deserve love. You are lovable. And I feel like you can aim high. I do see Sagittarius here as well. Um, aim high. Okay. Spirit, please show me one more card for the divine masculine and feminine. There it is. You guys give your relationship a chance, work on this partnership. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck deception. So maybe, you know, I'm not seeing this as bad. Okay. The deception comes from um, you know, pretending, you know, like I, I remember, I want to say it was last week's reading where it came out that, um, you know, the masculine is, was, you know, reaching out and pretending they needed something from you for work. You know what I mean? Like, and, but that was their way of expressing their love, you know? So I feel like the masculine in the past was, you know, trying to be deceiving about how they were you know, approaching the feminine, but now I feel like it's that the mask is coming off and I feel like the masculine is ready to stand in his power and take charge because the emperor takes charge. The emperor doesn't sit around and wait for everything to happen around him. He's somebody who actually is, you know, older and wise and, and knows what they want. And I feel like he's not unable to get this feminine off of his mind. Okay. So with the feminine here, yep, Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. When I look at the Queen of Pentacles here, look at this, you guys. 
there's that offer. Okay. And then look, we've got the ace and we've got the nine, which is the 10 of pentacles. So the feminine is waiting for a stable offer. And until she gets that, she's going to continue holding off. I also feel like, you know, maybe the feminines are battling off other people, you know, people that they're just not interested in. And so I feel like she's waiting for the one because the feminine does have a choice. You know, she's looking down at that pentacle and she's like, wow, you know, I have everything that I need. The only thing that I'm waiting on is love. I'm waiting on that for loving offer from this divine masculine. And then again, here's the bird. Okay. So I do feel like animals are a huge importance in this reading. You guys, I definitely do feel like there is going to be success, victory, I feel like you guys are both looking at each other. And again, I genuinely feel like this is a very divinely blessed and guided union. So let's find out what the divine masculines want to say to the divine feminine. Let's go ahead. Spirit, please show me what the divine masculine wants to say. I'm trying to trust in divine timing, okay, so that he can take this leap of faith. I feel like the sun is shining. This is the happiest card. You know, whenever we see the sun, it's happiness. It's a set. It's excuse me, we are going into Mercury retrograde, guys. It's happiness, success. Uh, the sun also re represents the masculine energy, okay? So spirit, please show me. I let my doubts and fears get the best of me. So they're working on, you know, getting out of that. They're kind of like, they realize, you know, that there's going to be a lot of give and take in this relationship, but there's a lot of fear too. And, you know, for some of you, maybe there's fear that an ex could try and come back in and they want to make sure that they're in, you know, this, this, like I said, packing light. Okay. Um, because they see a future with you spirit. All right. So I'm so tired of sabotaging this connection and so many songs remind me of you. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm not good at communicating my feelings with you. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's okay. Let this person, and maybe that's why they're, you know, reaching out and talking to you about other stuff instead of actually reaching out and saying what it is that they want. But I do feel like the masculines are getting ready to, um, say what's on their mind and offer up something. They're wanting to offer a commitment, something stable, grounded, something that is going to definitely last the test of time. And I know I said that before, but I'm, I'm still getting that. Okay. I know I hurt you. I never intended to. So for those of you who know who this person is, all right, so spirit, please show me the divine feminine. What do they want to say to their divine masculine? All right. Divine feminine say, I know we're twin flames. Okay. So for some of you, I am dealing with twin flames. I see myself having kids with you. Okay. So even if that's, you know, fur babies, okay, there's a lot of fur babies here on the table. So sometimes, especially if you're not in an, at an age where you can be having children, uh, it can be, you know, even starting a brand new business, you know, when it's talking about the blossoming abundance, I feel like, you know, you could definitely be starting a business, um, and something that is going to be very fertile. I want to follow my heart. The feminine's are telling the masculines, like, I want to, I, I want to open my heart to you. I want, I'm ready for that, you know, opportunity. And I think that a lot of these feminines have been single for a really long time and they want to open up and share, you know, all the love that they have with this divine masculine. Spirit, please show me divine feminines. I can't face you right now. Okay. Maybe she's busy and I love you. So, you know, this could definitely be a past relationship uh, past life relationship even. Um, wow. A lot of spiritual energy here. You guys, this is actually a really good reading for those of you guys who are getting ready to go into union. Congratulations. You guys have worked really hard and I feel like you guys are on the precipice of something brand new. And with all these eclipses that we have going on right now, I definitely feel like, um, people are getting ready to come into union and I feel like they're going to feel very blessed. And I feel like, you know, once you come into this union, you know, the two of you guys become a power couple and you know, that's when like your, your, your finances go through the roof. You go into a whole nother bracket when you're in a relationship that you're supposed to be in. Okay. So spirit, please show me their love life for the divine masculine and feminine. All right, here we go. We got transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And then we have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And I feel like that's why the divine masculine is working on trusting on divine timing. He's going to know when it's time for him to open up that door of communication and offer you 
uh, what it is that you're looking for, or vice versa, you know what role you play. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So, you know, like it talks about, you know, writing in your journal, you know, being very specific about what it is that you ladies want. Um, and what you want to get rid of. And I honestly, I definitely, with the fool here, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the, you know, there's, there's just four of wands, like 10 of pentacles. This is love. This is marriage. This is long-term uh, family commitments. I mean, you name it till death do us part. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, I appreciate it. I love you all. Congratulations to those of you who are coming into union. Uh, I just love love. Anyway, you guys have a beautiful week and we'll chat again soon. Take care.